my name is Miss Joanne and I'm with the Franklin Park Public Library and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the kids overdrive um, and we're going to navigate there from the Franklin Park website fppld.org so let's go ahead and get started we're going to cover a couple of different things we're going to cover how to browse items borrow items place items on hold, and then how to look at all of that stuff later on the My Account feature, as well as um, we're going to take a look at the Libby app as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go and hit Kids, and then I'm this, and I didn't click on it. It's a drop-down menu here, and then we're going to hit Homework Help. And we'll give it a second to load here. And we're going to scroll down. These are all of our digital resources that you can access from home. But today, we're going to spend some time looking at the e-reading room. And it's this yellow icon here. So you'll just click on either the picture or the words next to it. And we're going to hit sign in and it'll ask us for our library. So we're going to type in Franklin Park Public Library District. And then it's going to ask us for our card number and PIN. So I'm going to go ahead and input those now. Um, since I'll be putting in my information, I'll just um, put it in and then I'll show you the login page. This is the page that it dropped me on. So you can see we have a couple of sections that are already pointed out. So we got new stuff. If we scroll down, we can do I can read by myself if you're just starting out with reading. And there's a couple of other things you can look through as well. Um, if you find something on here that you like, then you can go ahead and let's see. Oh. It has personal suggestions for you as well. So I like Raina Telgemeier, so I'm going to go ahead and look through these books since I'm, I'm really a huge fan. So I found this one book, um, Invisible Emmy. You can see I'm highlighted on it. I'm going to go ahead and click that because that looks really cool. And now I can read a little bit of a summary about it. And if I'm still really into this, and this actually just seems right up my alley, I'm going to just go ahead and hit the borrow button and it will give you options for how long you want to borrow it. If you want it for three weeks, you'll hit the 21 days, two weeks, 14, and seven days for one week. Um, it takes me a little bit longer to read some books. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and max it out to 21 days for myself. I'm going to go ahead and hit this borrow button and now it's going to give me the option to either read in Kindle. If, if you're a big Kindle reader, then I strongly encourage you to go ahead and use this option. Um, but I kind of want to show you guys what it looks like in the browser. So I'm going to go ahead and read now in browser. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to open up Invisible Emmy for us in the browser. And we'll be able to toggle by clicking and we'll be able to read the book on the browser and that's really exciting um, so that's really cool um, it'll also tell you on this page that you'll have it until October 9th and that you can borrow nine more titles because you do have a limit on overdrive on how many titles you can take out um, currently that limit is 10 so I've taken out one book so I have nine left over Okay, so now that I've checked out Invisible Emmy and can read it, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the main collection. You can do that um, using this button here to the left or the eMedia Library Kids icon. Either of those will take you back here. And we'll give it a second to load here. And obviously, if you know of a title that you really want to check out, then you can go ahead and search for it here. Um, for now, I kind of really want to read Harry Potter, so I'll type in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. 
and we're going to, I kind of, I've already checked out the regular ebook edition of the book, but I really want to read the audiobook version. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the audiobook option here. And it's not available at the moment, otherwise we'd see the green bar button here, but we can place a hold on it. And I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to place a hold on this item and it was successful. I am number 31 on 11 copies of the book and it will leave us a note here that explains how the borrowing privileges work for other libraries and how they might jump other users ahead of you if they are in their own library system. So that's something you got to keep in mind. It will send me a nice email to um, remind me when it's ready to be checked out. So that's exciting. Um, and then now that you know how to place an item on hold and browse um, the categories, I'm going to go ahead and show you how we can look at that stuff later once that's all said and done. So say you navigate away and you want to access your loan. So you'll hit my account on this um, top right screen and you'll want to, let's take, say, let's take a look at our loans and we'll see what we have out already. And here's Invisible Emmy. So if you want to read it in Kindle or in the browser, you'll have those options here as well. Um, we can take a look at holds and it will tell me everything that I have on hold at the moment. So that's how you can see those. You can also see your placement on those holds as well. All right, and I think that will cover the basics on how to use the eMedia Library Overdrive application on a web browser. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use Libby as well. Hi everyone, as promised, um, I'm back to talk about Libby, and Libby is the Overdrive app. They used to have a different overdrive app but it's not as user friendly as Libby so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use Libby. Um, I went ahead and clicked on it and then it will ask you if you have a library card and you're going to hit yes and then it'll give you a couple of different options to be able to find your library. Um, I'm going to have it guess my library since I'm at Franklin Park Public Library right now so let's see if it figures out where I am. And it did. It found e Media Library with um, our Franklin Park Public Library District address and name. So, yes, I'm going to say that this is my library card, or this is my library. And um, it says, where do you use your library card? So we can go ahead and hit that we use it here. And it will ask us for our card number and when I hit next, it'll also ask for a pin, and I will be putting those in now, and I will come right back when I have put those in, and I'm on the next page. Okay, and I went ahead and put in my information, and it displayed my card when I signed it. It says that I have one loan, which is true. We still have Invisible Emmy out. And it has three holds, and we know that that's true, so we're going to go ahead and hit next. And then it will give us a couple of different options for books, and we'll be able to update our preferences for what types of books we'd like to find. So you can change it to format. So if you like audiobooks, you can change it to audiobooks, and you have a couple of different things, so you can definitely browse around there in your preferences. But for now, I'm going to hit X and Let's explore what we have on this first page. Okay. We'll want to scroll to these different categories, these subjects. Um, since most of you will be using this for a juvenile fiction selection, so let's go ahead and just hit that. And we'll have a bunch of different options. It says that my whole shelf has Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone, which we know is true. 
So then we have a couple of different options here. Um, since I said in the last video, I really like Raina Telgemeier. So if I wanted to, I can go ahead and click on Guts and I can read the summary of it, just like we could in Overdrive, as well as place a hold on it since it's not available right now. And we can also read a sample as well. So that's one really cool thing. So if you wanna, and of course you can search as well. So you would just hit, um, on the top right, you'll hit this little um, magnifying glass and you'll be able to search for titles that way as well. And on the bottom right of the screen, we have the option for the shelf, which will have all of our loans and our holds as well. And so it's basically like a little portable version of Overdrive. And this will be available on iPads as well. And um, Android tablets. So you'll have a bunch of different options to be able to use this app. And that is pretty much everything you really need to know about Libby and Overdrive. And I'm so glad that you went on this journey with me. And now you will have the ability to take out all kinds of books from our digital resources. In this case, Overdrive. Awesome. Thank you. Bye.